Art and the Industry. My name is Leslie petrovic Shapanik, and I am pursuing my bachelor's degree in Fine Arts for the Creative Writing for Entertainment program at Full Sail University. In this podcast, I have chosen to interview author and Full Sail University teacher Karen Price. The following are questions that pertain to art in the writing industry. What do you see as the role of the visual arts in our mass-mediated world and particularly in your profession? I have two professions, teacher and writer. The role of the visual arts in the first would be to help explain a process to assist those students who think visually to understand something. In writing, visual arts is for me in my head. I see everything I write as I am writing it. It's like I'm there. Like there's a movie in my head and I'm describing it for readers. With new communications and media technologies, imagery is almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on the industry? And please provide an example. With regard to teaching and writing, it can be a negative because it prevents students and readers from thinking. If what Marshall McLuhan said was correct, it doesn't take much thinking when the image is already there. The brain doesn't have to engage as much when watching TV, for example, as it does when reading because the readers have to imagine what they are reading. While with the TV or movie, it's already there. Imagery is helpful though when teaching online since you can create videos or point students to videos that explain concepts in case they aren't understanding them from reading alone. What popular images do you see that are frequently rechanneled through the entertainment industry? I'm going to lean toward my feminist side and focus on the images of perfection, the idea that there is an ideal of beauty that we should all aspire to, and if we don't, we aren't as special or whatever it is that people think who believe that stuff. Are there particular images that this industry has popularized and or created? There are certainly cliches portrayed in images as well as ridiculous amounts of violence. The entertainment industry has done a lot to influence and perpetuate what people now consider as beauty, coolness, humor. I find most of it tiresome and pandering to the lowest common denominator. There's so much mediocrity out there and people pay tons of money for it. I don't understand that. People who are creating content for the entertainment industry should be pushing the envelope. Some people are, but so much of what I encounter seems like the same old thing repackaged. Maybe that's just a sign I'm getting old and jaded. Who is one of your favorite visual artists? And what is your favorite style of visual art? And how has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? I don't have a favorite visual artist or a favorite style art. I'm attracted more to the use of color than anything, I think. I often like art that combines images and words, but that is probably because I am a word person, not so much a visual person. I also like art with a bit of fantasy to it. I appreciate realism, but I am not particularly attracted to it visually. This concludes my interview with accomplished writer and English 2 course director Karen Price. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Thank you for watching.